A family has come to me with a four-year-old daughter who wants to wear her puppy shirt every day. Whether it's in the laundry and dirty or not, she'll scream and have a fit and a tantrum and they let her wear it. Is this an example of overindulgence? I'm Ellie McCann with the University of Minnesota Extension, and this is Jean L. C. Clark, co-author of the book How Much is Too Much, and part of the Countering Overindulgence team with Extension. Today we're going to focus on preschool age children, and in other segments we'll be discussing other age groups. Well, let's look at it. Overindulgence is giving children too much of anything so that it interferes with their development and causes problems in later life. In order to tell if something is overindulging, one of the things we can use is the test of four. Four questions. First, does this delay her development? Well, looks like it. The job of the preschooler is to figure out who am I and who are they and what do I do about that. And it's an ideal time to teach manners and cooperation. And what she seems to be learning is, I get what I want by tantruming. The second question is, does it use too much of family resources? And uh, if it takes time and too much time and creates too much stress, then the answer would be yes. The third question is, whose needs are being met? Not hers, not the child's, but the parent's. Certainly they don't need this, but there are many reasons. Overindulgence comes from a good heart, and they may be giving in because they're tired or they're in a hurry or they just don't know what to do instead. The fourth question is, would this cause harm to others and to the environment? Probably not. So we look at this test of four, and it looks like most probably this is overindulgence. But we don't know that because we don't know everything that's going on in the family. So test of four gives us an indication, but it is only truly helpful to the family that is using it. So what might be some other solutions that I can bring back to this family? Oh, goody, I hope we'd get to that. Well, <clears throat> first of all, if they don't want to take back the family, I can't help them. But if they do, then the issue is this child has been given too much power. And uh, there's several ways that they can address this. One is to give the tantrums back to her. She tantrums, they say, you're okay, you'll get through this. Then they just stay by calmly until she calms down. They may try the old tried and true, take out your clothes before you go to bed and be ready. But if this is a kid who really wants to wear that doggy shirt every single day, then one of the things that they can do is use it as a teaching moment and teach her how to be responsible for having the shirt clean. How do I look at it to see if it's dirty? Learning about laundry. She's smart enough to run the family. She's smart enough to learn a lot about laundry. And then it becomes her problem. She learns responsibility. She becomes more competent. It builds her relationship with her parents because they are helping her. They're on her team. It makes it into a win-win. How do you like that? I like that. It reminds me of a story. I know a dad who was concerned because their daughter also was four, and she was just mucking up the morning. Nothing was going right, and they weren't getting to work on time, and finally he had had enough of it. And so he sat the little girl down, and he said, I have to apologize to you. I have been making a mistake. I am the dad, and I've been letting you make some decisions that the dad should be making. So from now on, if you choose whatever you want to wear and are dressed and at the breakfast table on time, it's okay. Wear what you like. If you're not, I choose, and you have to wear that. 
Think about that. What a way to take back the power. Some children will resist and escalate for a week or two, and some will just be so happy that the parents are behaving like parents. It's a good lesson. Let's all remember that children need parents who are in charge of the family. So let's all keep our parent power. Thanks, Jean. And if you have a picky dresser, there are many more ideas in Jean's book, How Much is Too Much? Also in her book, The Good Heart Parent, on the Overindulgence website, and on the University of Minnesota Extension website. Mm -hmm.